Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead. Please remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and click that bell. And uh, yeah, um, also the full reactions are in the description down below, and in the pinned comment down below as well. If that's the kind of thing you're into, check them out. Uh, but what episode are we going to watch, Trin? We are watching episode 12 of season 6, and it's called Not Tomorrow Yet. Uh, right, well the last episode we had some stuff, didn't we? Uh, why don't you explain? Yeah, it was a very interesting visit to Hilltop. We we've learned like about this new, well, not new, we've been hearing about Negan for a while <laughs> yeah. now. <laughs> but his ways are really intriguing for us uh, on how he deals with all this. Yeah, he he's called himself saviors. So, yeah, the but, saviors. Yeah. yeah, but he's asking like half of what people have. So I don't know. How in exchange for what? People? Yeah, is it like um, a protection racket? It's like it seems like a protection racket. You get it, it, looks it, like it, and we won't protect you, but we won't kill you all. Like <laughs> thanks, so it's, it's kind of weird. But yeah, this Negan guy, we we've seen some of the people involved with him, and it's not like they're weaklings. They're not like uh, Alexandrians or the people that were with the governor. Yeah, like um, begging for protection. They they they're going out and they're doing stuff. So if they're if they're like rough and tumble kind of guys, and Negan's in control. I don't know. I, I mean, look at what we got. We got Daryl, Rick, Michonne, Maggie, Carol, <laughs> Rosita. We've got a good, strong crew. I can't foresee it, anything being an issue. I feel like even with just Carol, like Carol will fix it. You know, she just does her thing. Uh, but I, I'm like curious because Negan is probably going to be meant to be a threat. So I don't know who the hell like he is and how that's going to pan out. I'm very excited to find out. Um, but you got anything else to say? No, I'm, um, I'm all good about the last episode. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm super interested. Especially that it ended, like, strangely on a very hopeful image with them in the RV passing around Maggie, Maggie's ultrasound and being hopeful, you know, yeah. with that baby. So, yeah, it's very strange. <laughs> uh, I don't think, I mean, it seems to be that for every good thing you get something really bad. <laughs> so yeah. It might be, a, yeah, it might be um, like some kind of inclination as to what we're going to get next. Uh, <laughs> Maybe. But yeah, I can't wait to find out either. So what do you say we get into it? Yes, please. Okay, let's get into the episode. Let's go. Carol. <laughs> oh, water chestnuts. She mentioned them, didn't she? Yeah. Sliced beetroot. She gets quite a lot of food out of this pantry, doesn't she? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this one. That's cool. <laughs> the, ah, yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> that was cool. A normal day in Carol's life. All these cute little tops. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's looking for the cardigans. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> so she she picked she got some chestnuts. Yeah. They're not chestnuts, are they? I don't know what they are. Nuts family. She, yeah, she's got a whole thing going on. Cookies, whatever else the chestnuts or whatever are needed for. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's a sweetheart. It, it's all lies. She's giving the kids yeah. and everything. Spreading the cookies. Yeah. It might it might be partly not lies, though. She doesn't need to do this. Hey, Carol. Tobin! Tobin! Uh, no, not, not with the kids as hungry oh, There's plenty as... foraged a lot of acorns. Acorns. There it is. Okay. Well, I, I never was much of a, a beet kind of you a guy. You just put it in your mouth, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best beet and acorn cookies I've ever eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, they're back. I mean, what was he eating before? It must have been miracle Grow or something, you know, like <laughs> some kind of plant food that he found. And it's just like, what? I need everybody in the church in an hour. What is it? We'll talk about it. Yeah, everyone's going to need to fight. I'm going to go against Negan. <laughs> What's going on? We're going to have to fight. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I mean, come on, we already knew there was going to be a discussion. And Carol yeah. looked disappointed, didn't she? I think she enjoys the cookie mom she, thing. Yeah, she tried. She's trying. 
Because we know that she doesn't enjoy it that much. She was break. She was broken last time when the wolves came in. Yeah. And she's thinking about um, little Sam, isn't she? Yeah. The one cookie that she has. Why didn't you tell Rick? Can we just forget it, move past it? You know what I did. You don't want to tell anyone. It's kind of like you did it too. No, it's not. I kind of want him to introduce her to his way of life, but I we we're gonna need Carol. Scar Scarol. <laughs> That's what people are calling her Scarol. Yeah, Sam it is. Uh, yeah. I didn't know she was that it's great. And the cookie. <laughs> she does have a heart. She really does have a heart. Oh man. Because <laughs> I felt like there was a little bit of flirtation though between her and Tobin. With Tobin, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if she can handle him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can handle him. <laughs> the guy's massive. I dread to think what his shoe size is. Yeah, let's stay with the shoe size. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie hammered out a deal. We're getting food. But they're not just giving it away. Oh, these saviors. Loving Gabe more now. Look, focus up. Yeah. Sooner or later, they would have found us. And we would try to stop them. In that kind of fight, low on food, we could lose. This is the only way to be sure that we win. Morgan doesn't like it. This needs to be a group decision. If anybody objects, here's your chance to say your piece. Morgan? <laughs> Where there's life, there's possibility. What, well, them hitting us? Hey, we're not trapped in this. None of you are trapped in this. I'm kind of on Rick's side. They always come back. Come back when they're dead, too. Yeah, we'll stop them. We have before. I'm not talking about the walkers. Oh, in your head. They haunt you. What happened here? We won't let that happen again. I won't. Aaron. Love him. Yes. I think Morgan's going to be outnumbered. I see what you're saying, but as soon as you tell the saviors you're aware of them, you lose your advantage. You're done. It looks like it's settled. Yeah, and apparently they say hi by killing someone, so... We know exactly what this is. We don't shy from it. We live. Kill them all. <laughs> Even Tara's like, more killing. <laughs> we don't all have to kill, but people are going to stay here. They do have to accept it. Oh, okay. Nudge, nudge, Morgan. I, I, I honestly believe he has the right to, you know, be how he wants to be. But he also yeah. has to accept the fact that these are how these people live, you know, like Rick and that. They kill, but not forcing Morgan to do it. I think that's fair. Oh, is she toting up her, um, yeah, W7. She, she's adding up her kills. Yeah, I was thinking, yeah. Terminus 3, Eight, she killed. 18 people. <laughs> oh. I mean, it shouldn't be funny, but it's like this, this, this little woman. She killed 18 people. Yeah. I made that deal. It wasn't my idea, but I let us into this. I have to come. No. You stay safe. You have a little gland in your bed, in your belly. Yes. Those things will kill you. You got oh. another one? <laughs> <laughs> Not for you. Why is that? Because, asshole. <laughs> yeah, there's something going on with these two. Oh, yeah. Okay. Couldn't sleep either? Never could sleep. I love Tobin getting some camera time. Worried about tomorrow. You going? No, you are. Oh. Aww. Aww. <laughs> How do you think I do those things? You're a mom. I was. Yeah, but she's still got the instincts. You are. It's not the cookies. It's the hard stuff. It's strength. You're a mom to most of the people here. <laughs> oh. It's killing me, Tobin. Oh. She needs to hear this. That someone sees her as a, you know, <laughs> a mother figure, yeah. not killer. You too? No. Oh. You're something else to me. Kiss. Oh, yes, kiss. Please, please, please. Come on, come on. There, yeah, ooh, ooh. Oh, yes. Sweet. It's very sweet. It's not tomorrow yet. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Packing your stilettos? I'm going. I am too, but tomorrow. Oh, no. I'm leaving. He knows what he wants. Look at Rosita. She's like, what? Why, where did this come from? Yeah. Why? It happens. It happens? It could be a bit... More, you know, loving with it. Why? Why are dingleberries brown? No, after everything we've been through, you are not lucky at that door unless you can tell me why. You, you were with that. When I first met you, I thought you were the last woman on earth. You're not. Oh, that's, oh, that's harsh. That's Ugh. really harsh. 
poor girl, man. I mean, Abraham's got the right to do what he wants, and Sasha's an amazing woman, but that was mean. Yeah. Try one of these, sir. Chewy. <laughs> oh, you G. <laughs> Virginia. They, uh, got some fight in them. Oh, yeah. You don't want to see that right now, Virginia. No. Is for lovers. <laughs> Oh, poor Rosita. She deserved better than that. Yeah. You've been inside? Yeah. They had us load in supplies one time. Hmm. What do you remember? We're getting the full plans. I love you. I just wanted to say it before. You don't have to say it That back. was quick. Yeah. I'll tell you when you come back. I want to be optimistic, but <laughs> yeah, I, this I is mean, scaring me. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's kind of strange to love someone so quick. And they're kind of just... It looks like they're living together and everything. Yeah. There's no way to bust through that door without waking up the rest of them. We don't need to. They're going to open it for us. Let us walk right in. They want Gregory's head, right? Oh. We're going to give it to them. Well, hey. Not for real, though. I'm pretty sure. They might just bring a bag or something. They can pretend they're from Hilltop, bringing supplies or food. I'd get them right in. Yeah. I mean, they're not just going to pop over to the hilltop, get Gregory's head, and, <laughs> and peace out. And then he look at you and say, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you start here. We'll peel off every quarter mile. Be back here in a couple of hours. See what we got. People are going to die today. He's wearing that coat. Oh, yeah. There's no turning back now. I could walk. Maybe run a little. Maybe a lot. I'm not going anywhere. Oh. <sighs> Why are you still wearing? <laughs> yeah, it's a good question. I feel like he's changed. Still who I was. Okay. I think. Holding on to it, at least. I almost told everyone at the meeting. We're not telling them. That hijo de puta tried to stand there and act like we didn't know what we were. He doesn't want to kill. We don't want to kill. We don't like it. It happens. It happens. They're making a lot of the audience's arguments right now here. Because I'm pretty sure th that was discussions when this was going on, being aired. Yeah. And people were saying these same things. Um, but they left it open. They liked the discussion, I guess. Because <laughs> <laughs> Carol didn't have an answer, but she's thinking the same as me. So he doesn't want to kill anyone. He tried to convince people, but it didn't work. So why rat him out? And here we go. Oh, these two. Good combo. Yeah. If we uh, cut the hair, trim the beard. Oh, they're going to take a walk ahead. <laughs> of course. <laughs> We're going to kill those people tonight. I've been lucky. I haven't had to do it before. Have you? I've been lucky too. He's chose not to. Yeah. Have you ever seen something that um, afterwards you you didn't want to sleep? You weren't hungry because when you close your eyes, you could see it. Yeah, when I watched Noah die. It happened to me that oh, night. Oh, yeah. And when you try to eat. Yeah. Me too. Killing somebody has got to be worse than that. So yeah, I'm nervous. It's kind of true. You think back, he hasn't killed anybody, which no, blows my mind. <laughs> Being in Rick's group and he didn't kill anybody. <laughs> yeah, but when Morgan doesn't want to kill anybody, it's a deal. It's a big deal, but no one's picking Glenn up on it. <laughs> no. We go in a couple of hours before dawn. Guards outside will be tired. Everyone inside will be sleeping. We'll keep Jesus in the shadows. This is how we eat. Yeah, ultimately, they need food. I thought when we got to Alexandria, we didn't have to worry about survival anymore you know that food was just a yeah. given but i love that they're addressing it that at some point the food goes down why is maggie here she's guarding the perimeter i want to stay out there with her we need as many people inside as we can get she shouldn't be out here in the first place okay so she knows yeah she saw the crackers oh yeah yeah that's it all right oh that's pretty close so it's probably good we're doing this at night <laughs> <laughs> i mean <laughs> Wrong with it? The nose. Gregory's is a different shape. Oh, it's not easy to watch. <laughs> Let's break the nose. <laughs> there you go. He fought back. <laughs> <laughs> he broke your hand, right? I guess there's no reason to be subtle about it. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> the saviors, they're scary, but this prick's got nothing on you. <laughs> <laughs> I love That's it. a compliment, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I love it when he says, what? <laughs> He's become so desensitized by the world. Yeah, I mean, I still remember him like, we don't kill the living. That oh. would always sit in my head and he just, he's got a whole new level. Stop right there! Oh, we're getting straight into it. Okay. Yeah. It's Andy from Hilltop! It's done! 
Is this their base? Is this really their base? Yeah. Looks very uh, elaborate base. <laughs> it looks very secure. Well, we get to see Negan, maybe, finally. I don't want the bag needle dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite dark enough. They're well lit. Yeah. He broke my hand. I broke his nose. That's why he looks that way. Well, you can hear the blood drip. It does look, kind of look. Yeah. A little bitch broke my nose. <laughs> Ugh. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's, he's just got his hand inside. That's disgusting. Okay, I'll get your guy. You'll go home. he bring us more stuff next week, hmm? Yeah, neither of these guys look scarier than Carol. <laughs> there it is. Okay, okay. Wow. I was like, I wasn't why expecting is he singing that. happy birthday to you, you know? Yeah. And he got slashed. You hate it when they whistle. I hate it, yeah. Super creepy. <laughs> I think Daryl agrees with you. Oh, look, he's ready to get... He's got a gun now. Wow, wow, wow. Look who it is. <laughs> oh! oh! We're moving quick. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Look, man. Oh, Ooh. it must feel kind of mean. The guy's asleep, you know, like, and I guess yeah. he, at least they will never know he died. He was asleep. Murder jacket, as you said. Yeah, we got that. They're going to do this really easily, aren't they? If they just keep this up, this level of stealth. And these two who never kill anybody. Oh, they're going to have to now. He's got to take one. The other one's got to take the other. You can't do one and leave the other. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be difficult for them. Especially Glenn. If he's gone this far and he's never done it, it still surprises me. But, yeah, here we go. It's time, man. You shouldn't have come. Please don't open your eyes, because it's going to make it so much harder. Oh, there you go. Oh. oh, look at his face. Season 6, episode 12, first time we see Glenn kill somebody. Yeah, he's been there since, like, the beginning, what, episode 2 or something? I can't remember. Yeah. Come on. You have to do it. You have to do it. Oh, he, he's going to do it for him? He's done it now already, so... Yeah. Why not? This is where it starts. God bless him for that. Not making him do it too. Oi. It's like he killed two people but saved someone at the same time. What the hell? That is... Ooh. Can you keep pictures like that on your wall? Yeah, what the hell is that? Their faces have been smashed in. I can't see anyone's face. No. Right. Ah, uh, that's disturbing. Yeah. Ooh. No guilt about killing these people, then. No. Nope. You still a priest? Rick and Carl taught me about guns, other weapons, how to contribute. I'm still a priest. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I lied to my girlfriend this morning. She caught me thinking about something, so I told her that I loved her for the first time. Oh. That's how I told her, covering something up. What were you covering? So she didn't mean it. I'd done something like this before, that I didn't like it. Do you? She doesn't like it. Do you love her? Good questions both. Yeah. Okay, right. Who are you answering? So you know what you're fighting for. Right. I mean, Tara didn't, like, when the governor started kicking off, she didn't want to get involved. <laughs> she really didn't. Yeah. Oh, the lovers. I just hate how Abraham dealt with it. Makes me not respect him as much as I did. <laughs> He's still a badass. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Come on! I don't want him to die. No, I mean. Ah, Sasha. <laughs> oh. There uh, it is. Oh, no. You're in trouble. Stay here. No. Damn it, Maggie. What am I supposed to do? You're supposed to be someone else. Oh. Uh. Stay safe. Stop it. You are staying here. She knows she knows now. Yeah. We need to go. Get them back to the hilltop. Your people could be in trouble. If you get them back, the deal's still on, right? They get themselves back. Andy, drive them back to the hilltop. Okay, they can fulfill their deal still. Oh, oh, oh he's masking up. So bad. Oh. Look, if they see you and we don't make it. We're going to make it and they're not going to see me. No. Bad good, that is. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see him in action. Yeah. Here we go. 
They did a lot, though, before they were discovered. But if Abraham wasn't being so flirtatious, he might have seen stuff going on behind him a bit sooner. Ah, oh, please, leave Aaron alone. Yeah. Oh! Ah! Oh. Oh. If it wasn't us, it was going to be you. Okay. These aren't the small hell? guys. Look, there's blood on the camera. Wow, that yeah. was cool. Yeah. That's one of the locked ones. I'm gonna cover you too. Okay, I'm worried about Rosita now. Yeah, I know. Oh, she looks alright though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to lose anybody. I feel like we will. <laughs> it's all chaotic. I don't like it. Yeah, exactly. I don't know who, what's happening. I don't know where everyone is. Yeah, Glenn's yeah. pinned down. Oh, okay, that's the right cupboard to be pinned down oh, in. <laughs> okay, for these two. <laughs> like, what are the chances? <laughs> and just like that, you probably killed like four or five people. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? When you're, your back's against the wall. Yeah. Yeah, we've all done it now. Yeah, okay. Everyone's popped their cherry. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. Who did he shoot? Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is the next world. He's a ninja. <laughs> yeah. Because they're not they supposed to see him. They loved him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they aren't supposed to see him either because there are no hilltops involved. Drop it. You don't kill me, Padre. What are you going to do? Let not your heart be troubled. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go prepare a place for you. Blood's coming. Oh, Stone Cold Gabe. Amen. Oh, man. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I feel wow. like he's a nightmare, you know, when you see that gunslinging priest quoting scripture and taking people out. <laughs> I have to say, I've been having weird dreams since we started watching The Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember he told me you can't sleep. That's not yeah. funny. Um, no. <laughs> hey. Back with us. Take a couple days before you and Tara go out again. Just want to get out of here. Well, I was we won. Oh. The only alarming thing to me is, yeah. um, did you see anyone that introduced themselves as Negan? And uh, no. Nope. It would have been a deal, right? They would have said, "That's Negan" or something. Just the guy said, "Blood is coming," so that that wasn't. Right. Yeah, he's threatening him. Yeah. So this isn't the end. Who's this? Is it Morgan? I thought it was Tobin. <coughs> I thought it was Tobin, but I think it's Morgan. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is he building a jail? He's actually building a cell. Mm. There's the metal bars because he he would like the option to be able to take prisoners and not just kill. Yeah. That makes sense. And plus, he was reborn in a in a cell. In a cell, yeah. Look at him. Oh. Whether you agree with the killing thing or not, he needs to be that way because he can't be any other way. He lose. He's lo He lost it. He lost it. He before. lost it. So yeah. Yeah. What is it? Just wondering which one of them was Negan. Nah, that was. That was <laughs> yeah, you're like, uh, yeah. <laughs> you're like, yeah. Like Son of a bitch! Oh, okay, that's done. Oh, that's his bike! Oh! Isn't it? That's his bike. I recognize that headline. Where'd you get the bike? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's do it! Lower your gun, prick. It's actually Rick. You lower your weapons right now. Uh oh. Oh, this is not finished. No, we're still going. Go on out. Let's talk. We're not coming out, but we will talk. We've got a Carol and a Maggie. Oh no. Oh no. I'm thinking that's something you want to chat about. Oh. The Glen. Oh. Damn it. Oh man. Like, that's it, man. I mean, the two people that you have to care about, right? Carol and Maggie. Yeah. I feel like they're, they're the two people that Rick cares most about. <sighs> oh, no. Uh, well, apart from Michonne, obviously, but... Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, that was, it was too easy. It was too easy. And there was no Negan that I know of. I couldn't see a Negan. No one said, oh, that's Negan or anything. So yeah. I feel like uh, with the threats from the guy who's as well saying blood's coming or something, it's not over. It's not over. 
I was like, are we going to have another episode where it ends on a hope of, yeah, it's a win and stuff? And no. No. <laughs> no, not so, at all. A little tease. You put the guns yeah. down and we got two people you care about. And, and they called Carol. That's surprising. Yeah. I never thought she'd go. Oh, but then again, say if uh, Maggie got captured, she'd want to be with her. Oh, yeah. So maybe she let herself get captured because it, it benefits because she probably thought, I can't stop. Maggie getting captured, so I, I go with her, and at least I can keep an eye on her. I don't know. It just seems like Carol goes out fighting all the time. <laughs> I always, I always felt like she would rather die than be a prisoner of anybody, and she'd go out kicking and screaming. Um, no, it was an amazing episode. It did not disappoint, and it just lays up more questions. Is that it? It can't be it. That can't be it. But we got Daryl's bike back. Bike back. Maybe yeah. in one of those armories, there might be a certain crossbow. <laughs> oh, oh I didn't think about it. <laughs> we get yes. proper Daryl back. <laughs> oh it just seems so with weird with him with a machine gun. It just it's like, <laughs> no, no, he has a crossbow. That's his that's his weapon, that's his signature thing. Same as Rick with the Colt Python. And I, if if I saw him without it, it would just look so wrong. Uh but no, fantastic episode. Have you got anything to say on it? No, I'm really excited for the next one to be honest. I feel like this was a really cool build up to it. Yeah, um, precursor yeah. to something um, really big. Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, and I can't wait. Very to hot. <laughs> I can't wait to see the Carol <laughs> and Maggie situation resolved. Uh, they can't just be killed like that. Oh, I mean, I say that, and then we get some dumb deaths yeah. all the time. So yeah. yeah, I'm I'm really intrigued. I've got nothing else to really say on this episode either uh, that we haven't all said already. So uh, yeah, uh, we you're good. Yeah, I'm all good. All right, then we'll catch you in the next episode of The Walking Dead. Bye. Cheers. Bye, guys.